So I've done a lot of BTD6 videos over the years, well over a thousand at this point. So as you might expect, uh, yeah, ideas sometimes run dry, and that's why today we're gonna do an encore of a challenge I did years back that I found pretty interesting, and that's basically using the wrong crosspads. The first time I did it was well over three years ago, and yeah, as you can see, times were much simpler back then. I attempted the challenge on Cubism Chimps, which would be considered a joke nowadays. And hell, it even used a lot of the towers that we deem pretty decent today, like 420 Sub and, uh, you know, 420 Alchemist. So I figure it's time for a redo to see uh, what towers are uh, pretty bad now, cross path wise. And I guess we'll do it on uh, Quarry Chimps, since I haven't done that on, well, I haven't gotten the badge on that yet. Now, I realize doing this challenge nowadays is going to be a little bit tougher because Ninja Feet keeps trying to make. Uh, both cross pads useful, so there's at least some sort of debate between which one is better. So in that case, a lot of the cross pads that one could debate maybe better than the other, I uh, pretty much won't do for this challenge. So again, stuff like 420 versus 402 Alchemist. Since it's not always clear which one is uh, strictly better than the other, pretty much means I'm not allowing myself to use that tower whatsoever, which kind of stinks. So essentially what I'm going to be limited to in this challenge is... Uh, Cross pads that are almost universally regarded as uh, worse than its counterpart. I say almost because if I limit it to uh, always, then, well, first off, that's very subjective. Not that this isn't already pretty subjective. But yeah, there's really no other way to do this than just to use my best judgments. So bear with me here before you comment. Hang on. I use this underused cross path. Why did you allow it, etc., etc.? Because that's pretty much going to be inevitable that uh, one person may disagree. But anyways... I'm trying to see right now here if I can get away in the early game with a Druid and Dart start into Geraldo. I tested it already before this, and I tried to beat Geraldo round 6. Just wasn't doable, so we have to do a different start, and... That means the towers I drop right now will have to be upgraded to some sort of bad cross path. So what I'm thinking is, well, for the early game, we know 030 Druid is very, very good. And ever since they nerfed it so that uh, you need 130 to pop lead balloons... Uh, that's pretty much a better cross path now compared to an 031. So I simply will just go for that instead. So all I gotta do is be round 9 here, but that's pretty hard at the moment. Just gotta do a bit of, I guess, druid targeting. And then hope for a snipe on the other side. Because I think that's the only way to get through it. I need two snipes here. Not happening. Alright, so let's do strong into first, into strong again. Just trying to keep stuff not getting to the last bend here. Although, I need, I need to get a good snipe here. Nice. Thank you, Dark Monkey. I think this is the run. Nice. Alright, perfect. So, I didn't do a hero the last time I did it. Well, that's because it was Cubism of Chimps. But I think I'm definitely going to need it for this one. Because, again, we got rid of all the uh, pretty debatable cross pads. Uh, especially, yeah, now that I can't use an Alchemist. Which is probably one of the best things you can get in terms of value. It's going to be rough. Hopefully, I don't need to use too much from the shop, though. I'm hoping to avoid maybe the... Uh, sub towers like the turrets and the genies because uh, i would kind of say they're a little bit cheesy but yeah anyways let's talk about uh, our late game so uh, i'm thinking about an 024 if i can get that up we might be pretty solid the problem is first off saving up 65k especially with a dumb knight i would personally say that yeah this is almost universally worse than 204 because you're basically losing out on like double attack speed going 204 versus 024 and the pierce and range that you get does not make up for it in almost every scenario. So yeah, I'm looking at that anyways. 03 one time, and we should be chilling until, well, let's come. Round 28. Don't forget, we also need camo detection. And what I'm thinking is, uh, how about a signal flare mortar? Well, I guess for 24, I can just use the road spikes. But let me just see if I can get this right now. So it looks like I'm a little bit off. That's fine. We'll just use the road spikes to tank it. So this will be 2-0-3. Or well, I guess I don't have to cross pad it fully. 1-0-3 is probably good enough. Actually, I should clarify that the 031 Druid still has Life Vine power with the main Vine attack, but with the Vine that it drops on the ground, that one can't pop leads, which really hurts its uh, power. Anyways, it's probably time to stop monkeying around. We can afford the Stream Monkey now, so I might as well get it. I was strongly thinking about maybe doing a discount village, but then I realized that um, there's no really bad cross path for the village. Like, discounts, cam protection, and Jungle Jones attack speed, you pretty much will would want all three of them. So yeah, because of that, we get none. So you want to know what tower I'm thinking of that might combo well with uh, the 023 Dumb Knight? Well, how about a 402 Dartling Gun or a Plasma Accelerator? Without the attack speed of the camo, 
but rather the Pierce upgrade, which, well, I've pretty much never seen anybody use before, for good reason. But I would say this is actually kind of half de decent against group loons, because I checked and uh, it gives like 25 more Pierce when you go 4 0 2. So that's perfect for rounds like 63, 76, 78. Although I guess we also have a uh, Geraldo to Mail Scrims for those rounds if we need need to use those. But yeah, again, hoping to not need to rely on Geraldo too much here. So let me just go ahead and get the cross path right now. And I don't know, you think that's enough to save for Dark Champion? By the way, the reason why I'm putting the Dark Link down at the very top is because if I put it in the bottom, uh, the way Quarry works is that you'll get blocked by line of sight. Dark Link Gunner isn't tall enough to be able to shoot over unless you go bottom cross path. Or rather the bad or Bez upgrade. Anyways, there is the PXL. Oh, also, in case you're wondering about the uh, Dark Link here and what I plan to upgrade it to, well, pretty much nothing. It was just there for the early game. I have no plans to upgrade it any more than a bad cross path. I'm thinking, I don't know, 202. Most people usually want the attack speed when they go for a Dart Monkey, so yeah. I just gotta make sure to budget like a couple hundred dollars. Right now, I don't want to do it though, because of course, as you know, money matters a lot for this uh, early game here. And yeah, look, look how good the PXL is, 402. Again, even with that, this is still definitely the worst cross path because the, uh, I think, attack speed upgrade increases uh, the attack speed they only got by like 33%, which, I mean, would you rather have 33% more attack speed or 50% more pierce? In most cases, the plastic accelerator won't pierce cap, so yeah, you're almost always better off with the attack speed, even for rounds like that. But yeah, don't sleep on the plastic accelerator. This thing is carrying the mid-70s uh, pretty hard here. Now, this is a round we definitely have to start focusing up, so uh, let's see if we can take care of 75 here. Lots of balloons to take care of. Three BFBs at once over here, but again, that yeah, Pierce, man. It's actually uh, a good synergy. The Dark Knight knockback helps slow things down and thus clump balloons together, and that allows the Accelerator to uh, do way more damage. Holy. That was nice. 76. Should be fine. No Rigor Farm, right? Nah. Not with the amount of Pierce this guy has. Now, even with not buying any upgrades since the uh, 50, is a, it still looks like I'm gonna not get my uh, Dark Champion to, like, the 80s. Oh, also, crap. The camos, I just realized. Did we decamo all of them? No, we didn't. Uh, I need to do some more to micro. Come on. Snipe. Nice. Yeah, again, we'll probably need at least uh, two mortars for the late game. DTs will probably slip by. But I guess at that point, we have the Dark Champion. That one can pop any type of balloon. Right now, this doesn't have uh, lead popping. This O2-3 uh, Super Monkey. But yeah, I'm really worried about 81 because that's when... Uh, the accelerator really falls off because the pierce won't matter as much. Nice veteran level, by the way. All right, 10 more K to go. I guess good news is that the uh, knockback of the Dark Knight really helps with the ceramics too. Gives us lots of time. Uh, hang on. A lot of the ceramics here. I think I got a dark shift to help slow down knockback the ceramics. Come on. I think we can afford it at the end of 82 or 83. But 82 is a harder 81, so... This could be spooky. So, Dark Shift did right back up here. Gotta say that Dark Shift ability is coming in really handy right now. Uh, looks like Ceram's are leaking now, so got a Dark Shift. Gotta do a bit prematurely, which sucks, because there's still, like, yeah, six BFBs left to take care of. Come on, less than 1k to go. I think we need to pop two more, and then we got this. I'll even mortar the micro to do, like, that one Bernie damage DOT. Come on... There we go. Nice. We did it. That wasn't so bad. Now, this is not, again, a GG, because I don't think there's much I can do to buff the Dark Champion. Like, I don't think any of Gervaldo's buffs really help for it, other than, I don't know, the Dairy Fire. But again, I don't really want to use that unless I absolutely have to. Like, let's think about the other buffs we can give to the Dark Champion. Overclock. I think it'd be pretty controversial if I went for that one, because you mostly go Overclock for the ability, so cross-pathing it really doesn't matter. There's no really uh, wrong cross path. In fact, the wrong cross path is a cross path because, again, you don't really want to use it anything for the ability. So I guess for an ad challenge, we're going to omit that. Now, what should we do with our extra money? I feel like uh, shattering shells, uh, I can probably get, even though it might be considered uh, similar to overclocking that, you only really want to get, well, it just for the uh, defortifying ability. So in that case, cross pathing it doesn't really matter that much. But in general, attack speed is pretty much better than having a bigger blast for the Shattering Shells. And on top of that, they did buff the Bernie stuff of the Shattering Shells to do, like, 5 damage, so... 
that makes cross pathing it with OT4 almost always better than 1 2 4. So, yeah, again, this is subjective, but I'm gonna go for it. Because I think we'll definitely need it for rounds like 1298. And how's DDT is? Dark Champion. Can deal with it decently. I think we're best off at this point going for utility. So, uh, let me think here. More press. That's pretty much off the table because 204 and 024, they're good in different situations. I think what I can do is a glue gunner, though. You pretty much always want Pierce on it. So, uh, I can just go for the other one. The 103 or 203. But I guess to save money, uh, 103. That allows me to glue one mob at a time. Sounds pretty bad, but like. It, it, it might be decent still. I guess another tower I had in mind was maybe uh, uh, the, the Super Monkey upgrade as well. Not an 023 Dark Knight, but uh, an Isa Monkey. That's right, guys. I said it. Isa Monkey is not good. Not just Isa Monkey, though. Uh, 041 Super Monkey. Tech Terror might allow us to uh, clear out like giant clumps of balloons that Dark Champion may not be able to handle. I think that would be a pretty solid option. Now, as for 95 here. Let's see if we can take care of this, and holy crap, Dark Champion kind of blows. I'll make sure to Dark Shift, but um, it might be a little, bit, a little bit late here. Come on. See, this is where the uh, half attack speed really sucks. Okay, so out of curiosity, how far off am I from uh, Tech Tier? Okay, 8k. This Ice Monkey isn't really going to help me for uh, 95 cents of Camp Pop LEDs, but let me just drop it preemptively. And I also forgot to target the mortar at the top last time. You guys think it might be allowed to go for this too? One jail glue to slow down DDTs. Well, I've already dropped it, so yeah. I think it's gone already though. Uh, another one. Come on, Dark Shift now. I think we're still dead here. But I'll try my best. Come on. Three. Nope, not happening. Okay, I'm hoping this isn't too controversial, but how about a 402 main Moab? Yes. Some of you might say, hey, this is pretty good, but 420 is pretty much better in almost every situation late game. Unless you're talking about a single target, which there's like almost none of, and the ones that are, the rounds aren't hard like 97. Be only being able to stun one at a time, despite having to pass track speed, is just, yeah, not, not very useful, in my opinion. Hopefully, I'm not catching too much flack for this, but yeah, kind of running out of good options here, you know? So let me just drop blue here. I think this is the best run so far. So, uh, I will take it if we survive. And three left, two left, and one left. Alright. And 95 is done. It's gonna suck, though, because now I'm probably going to only be able to afford a, a Tech Tail or, like, 98. And do I really want to get that? I don't even know if I have enough damage here to beat a bad. But I guess I'll worry about that once we actually beat, uh, uh, 98. I think I'm almost certainly going to need to uh, Dark Shift here. Yep. Lots of Serams this round that need taken care of. Come on, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get pierce capped. Don't get pierce capped. Good. And okay, if you're curious how far off we are of Tech Tier, this time 5,000. Yeah, it's gonna be a mid round by after I beat like half the wave. I don't even know if I can get the ability up in time. This could suck. Well, either way, let's just hope for the best. If I can maybe get the Tech Tier after beating all the BFPs, B BFPs here, that would be really nice. And also without Dark Shifting, because I needed to attack the ZMGs after BFPs are gone. And alright, god damn it, $400 short. I don't think I'm gonna get the ability up in time, but I guess I could use the help of the uh, just the raw power of Tech Tier in general. Got it? I guess I don't want to use the ability also for 98, because 99 might be hard. But I guess I have to, yeah, this is way too hard. Should I use it? Should I use it? Only if we got Pure Scap Tier. Uh, yeah, I gotta use it. Don't die, thanks. Okay. We really gotta hope I don't die to 99 here. I guess worst case on tier, I have uh, genies. Genies do good damage, right? Also, should I buy uh, O or 2? This doesn't have a camo. Nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good. The neon skin is nice to see how much you have to deal. And I am dead. Almost. Dark Shift? Come on. Uh, this could be bad, though, because the Dark Shift ability... Oh, wait, no, no, I have a Reju Potion, Reju Potion. I'm definitely gonna need that because I need, you know, it to do damage on the top side. Anyways, got 6k to work with. That'll be 4.8k after I use uh, a Dark Shift. So, back up here. And this is not really a lot of money to work with anything else. So, let me just play and see how far, how much damage we can do here. God, I sure hope it's enough. 
That Dark Champion damage looks pretty rough. But based on how this is looking, I think we might still be able to pop it. But it'll be very late. Mm. Uh, Dark Shift now, though. Maybe I'll drop a glue down here for the DTs when they pop. Just so we have a better chance. Also, Shattering Shells, I guess. I'd love to be able to keep... Uh, oh, I didn't want to use the Tech Tier ability there. That stinks. Well, I guess I can buy Knockback, too, I guess, to help out. Uh, we're strong. Running out of range, though. Uh, I'll Dark Shift. Wait for it, wait for it. Here. That's not gonna work. Uh, let me try something different here. Uh, without using the Reju Potion, I actually can kind of wait for the ability. We don't really lose much damage. If I, yeah, yeah, none at all. That's nice. So, uh, here's what I'm thinking. In Brunament, bottom cross path is generally worse. You could really use the attack speed. The range will most likely not make a difference most of the time. Granted, this may be a little bit controversial for some, but I'm still gonna allow it. Anyways, uh, hopefully the plus one makes a difference here in popping it earlier. And yeah, if I can save the Tech Terror, that would be great. Dark Shift now. So, DDTs. We should be good here. Nice, nice, nice. And what else can I get that's a bad cross path that might be decent? I don't know. Trying to pop the uh, ZMDs faster. How about an 0 3 attack? And if I can get down to like BFBs and Moabs, uh, then Tech Terror wins. Nice. We did it. The bad cross paths have beaten Quarry Chips. Granted, I did get a red bash for this one since I couldn't black border it. But that was going to be too hard to do anyways. Overall, glad I redid this challenge because uh, there's been so many changes since then that have, well, altered the type of upgrades I use. Also, um, I forgot to upgrade this to Tuzu to my winning attempt, but let's pretend I did anyways because you see I had the money for it. So yeah, if you remember any other old ideas that I did long ago that might be fun to try again, then maybe let me know. Otherwise, that's it for me today. See ya.